Okay, well there it is, my uh, 2016 A6 TDI, and today is actually December 19th. And what makes today so interesting is, well let me get inside. So today, being Tuesday, is the day before the final deadline was made by the court for the EPA and CARB to approve the VW emissions modifications. As it turns out, yesterday, Monday, EPA and CARB actually approved the emissions modifications for the second gen passenger car category, which is the final category of the TDI vehicles in general. So basically, the uh, the 3 liter V6 passenger cars, the A6, the A7, and the A8, and the AAL, and also the Q5 and the Q7, at least the second gen of those, they are all now um, clean, basically, once those modifications happen. So even though we are not eligible for buybacks because the, the fix was approved, we do get a huge extended warranty that basically covers everything except for the transmission for another seven years, 160,000 miles or something. So, <clears throat> um, as you can see, I only have 23,000 miles because what I did was I bought another car so I wouldn't put the miles on this or risk totaling this before maybe there was a buy buyback. So now that there isn't, I have a low mileage Audi A6 Prestige with Bang & Olufsen and the massage seats. So um, it has an extended warranty now till like 20 something, 2025. And basically uh, they're paying me to compensate me for the loss of value, which when I looked online today at Clearbook or Blackbook, uh, the price was around $50,000 with this amount of mileage, but it didn't accommodate for the Bang & Olufsen system. So I'm not really upside down, and I think the payoffs are going to vary between the year and the trim of your A6 or A7 or A8. But basically, keep your eye out in the mail for an official letter from VW Audi explaining the the process for the fix. It's going to be a software and hardware fix, and I don't know how long it's gonna take or what it's going to entail yet, but, or what the ramifications are, but apparently the 2016, which I have here, does drive differently already from the 2014 A6 I used to own. So I'm not sure exactly what all the changes will be, but if you read online about the Q7 owners and the Q5 owners who've already had their fixes, some are happy, some are upset. And frankly, um, I think I'm just gonna drive this thing into the ground. Unless, of course, one of you really wants one of the low mileage A6 Prestige with Bang & Olufsen and massage seats, uh, we can talk. But here we go, that's it. And I'm signing off. So that's the end of the TDI saga. Um, gonna go get some lunch now, so ciao.